first met fourth in an unexpected top of the table clash as Lorient welcomed the champions Paris Saint-Germain. It was an expected opening goal, Lorient playing themselves into trouble as they tried to play out from the back. Jan Vogo closed down by Neymar, slipping. Hugo Ekatike returning it to the Brazilian, who took his time and picked his spot for 1-0. Painful for Mbogo in every sense, forced off with the injury he picked up during the goal. But an 11th goal of the season for Neymar, joining Kylian Mbappe at the top of the scoring charts. After the break, Le Merlu would hit back though. Advantage played by the referee and they would take advantage. A nice team move, culminating in a lovely pass through by Enzo Lefe for Terem Moffi. Nigerian becomes the first African player to score nine goals in the first 14 games of the French top flight since Benjamin Mukanju 2015. But after a quiet second half, it was the inevitable Parisians who would grab the final goal with 10 minutes remaining. Danilo Pereira heading home from Neymar's corner. PSG strike late to make it four consecutive wins. Andre had a chance to end a five-match losing run when they hosted Lens. It didn't look like much of a chance though, with Sko rock bottom of the table and Lissongio flying high. And indeed, Florian Sotica, central figure in their strong start, provided a volleyed pass for Wesley Said to fire in the opening goal after 20 minutes. Since his club's return to the top flight in 2020, Sotica is the only Lens player in double figures for both goals and assists. And Lens moved further ahead after the break. Jemisław Frankowski's free kick picked out Kevin Danzo in the penalty area and his header found his centre-back partner, Facundo Medina, who beat Fofana to the ball and made it 2-0. Andre, despite only managing seven touches in their opponent's box all night, surprisingly got the next goal. Mia Blazic netting a consolation in the 87th minute. The consolation is all it would be. Wants to pick up a fourth straight league win for the first time since 2001. Whilst for Sko, it's six straight losses. Ren were aiming to consolidate their podium position when they travelled to face fellow European hopefuls Lille. But it would be the hosts who took the lead. All fired into the corridor of uncertainty, but spilled by Steve Mandanda and Jose Font, making the most of the scraps. It's soon to be 39 year old centre back's first goal since February 2021. From there, it was pretty much one way traffic, but Ren would get one opportunity against the run of play. The VAR review was called to check a foul in the box for the visitors. And the referee, who initially waved away the penalty, pointed to the spot. It would be Benjamin Borijo stepping up. And he would slot the ball home to net his first league goal of the campaign on his side level. So Ren hang on to third in the table. So frustrated Lille side home with a single point and an only eighth place. Toulouse were looking to make it five consecutive home games without defeat when they welcomed Monaco to the southwest. The Monegasques dominated the first half without scoring, but finally the downward break mere seconds into the second 45. A series of chances, Breland Bolo's shot blocked, then Mohamed Kamara's, with the ball breaking to Alexander Golovin and the Russian curling it beautifully into the top corner. Goals in back-to-back -back games for Golovin. And it wouldn't take long for the second to arrive on the hour mark. Monaco passing it around comfortably. And then Takumi Minamino lifting in a perfect cross for the unmarked Mbolo at the back stick. Monaco move into the European spots. Toulouse aren't in immediate danger, but have conceded at least twice in six of their last seven games. Weekend's action came to a close as Marseille and Lyon met for the latest instalment of the Choc des Olympiques. Three places and four points separated the sides coming into the game. And it was a higher placed OM on the front foot early on. Alexis Sanchez somehow denied by the sliding Nicolas Tagliafico. Challenge that had to be timed perfectly, but was. But the goal would come. Jordan Bertu's excellent corner finding the head of Samuel Gigo who powered Marseille into the lead shortly before the break. Just his second goal for OM since his summer move from Russia. The visitors did conjure up one chance. Carl Toko Akambi forcing a save from Paolo Lopez. But gold in the Olympico went the way of Marseille. A big win finally bringing a halt to their slide and moving them back up to fourth. 
Nice were looking to extend their unbeaten run of five games in all competitions when they hosted Brest. Les Aiglons have put their poor start to the season behind them in recent weeks, but they nearly went behind as Medin Cameras deflected shot looped onto the crossbar. And the header rebound then dealt with by Jean-Claude Todibo. Michael thinking he got unlucky. In fact, he'd got lucky. And Nice looked to capitalise on that luck down the other end. Mario Lamina's first time shot from range, forcing a good save from Marco Bizot. Sofian Diop was introduced at half time as Lucien Favre rolled the dice. And the dice would come up showing a six. Diop working his way towards the edge of the area and unleashing a shot that would hit the back of the net. It would turn out with a helping hand or rather shoulder from Gaetan Laborde. Continue to recover and climb to ninth. Seeking to maintain their position in the top half, Clermont welcomed Montpellier to the stade Gabriel Montpellier. La Payard had fallen to just two points clear of the relegation zone in recent weeks. They earned themselves an early penalty as the ball bounced up into the hand of safe Edin Kawi and talisman Teji Savanier, given the responsibility, hammering the ball in off the underside of the bar. Clermont would then get a spot kick of their own, but where Savanier converted his with a plump, Comden Andrich could not. Shortly after, Elbasan Roshani bursting into the box, finding the net, fittingly via the boot of Andrich. Host would get another chance from the spot, this time Kie, but he was no more successful than his predecessor. 1-1 the final score. France could boast an unbeaten run of five games when they welcomed Nantes to the northeast. Soon enough, they could boast an extra player on the pitch too, as Nicolas Palois picked up a second yellow for a shove on Flo Balligan. A shrug of disbelief from the veteran centre-back. They're beaten for pace by the younger legs. It was all one-way traffic from there, which eventually culminated in Mitchell van Bergen darting towards goal, brought down just inside the box. The referee pointing to the spot with a helping hand from VAR. Balogun stepping up, putting a frustrating game behind him. Finding the winner, Nantes slipped to one place outside the relegation zone, whilst Rance continued their climb to 11th. For the first time since the 06-07 season, Trois and Auxerre met in a Liga Ubrits fixture, getting the weekend's action underway on Friday night. Estac opened the scoring when Mama Balde skipped past Ryan Revelison, full squaring for Ronnie Lopez to fire home first time. Valde is the only African player in Europe's Big Five leagues to have been involved in 10 goals this season. Agia fought back though. A lovely defence splitting pass, allowing Seniyoko to cut back and find Gaetan Perrin, who would make no mistake to stroke home the equaliser with just four minutes left on the clock. And that will be that, a draw which does little for either side in truth, but equally doesn't do too much to hurt them either. Two sides in early relegation danger squared off with Ajaccio trailing Strasbourg by two points in the table. Racing took the lead early on. Jean Rigner Bellegarde bending home a superb free kick after just six minutes. And ten minutes later, they doubled their lead. Kevin Gamero controlling Alexander Juku's header on his chest before brilliantly lobbing Benjamin Lacroix for his fifth league goal of the season. But this game was far from over. On 33 minutes, Thomas Dalin's handball was punished with a penalty. And Youssef Belaili would make no mistake from the spot. And then on 34 minutes, barely 60 seconds later, the ball won out wide. And then Roman Hamuma finding Munaim El Idrissi, who turned and levelled up the match. Another two minutes later, Belaili almost completed an astonishing three-minute turnaround, only to be denied by Matt Sells. But whilst it wasn't a three-minute turnaround, it would prove to be a six-minute turnaround. Belaili fouled inside the box, again by the unfortunate Delen. And that penalty ending in the same way as the first. And it was to get better still for Olivier Pantaloni's men. They'd grab a force in first half stoppage time. Belaili bamboozling Jiku before delivering a pinpoint cross, which Riyad Nouri headed home from point blank range. 
an astonishing game. Four goals in 15 minutes for Ajaxio and a first win against Strasbourg since 1971. High scoring week, 23 goals in all, and six of those coming in just one half of the crazy Aka Racing match, but nonetheless, no goalless draws. PSG and Lens continue to stretch their legs at the top, with a 10 point gap now between the leaders and third place Rennes. Lorient's poor run sees them slip out of the top five. Andre slipped further and further from the rest of the pack, with Ajaxio's win moving them up to 17th. Strasbourg still managed just one win so far this campaign. So into match day 15, and the final one before the World Cup. Lyon and Nice get things underway. Nantes and Ajaxio will battle it out on the edge of the relegation zone before Monaco and Marseille see us off to Qatar. <laughs> 